What's up guys, man? Hey, welcome back to Bridge Students on YouTube. We're so glad that you're here. Uh, man, I feel like I haven't been with you guys in a little bit. I hope you guys have been enjoying the couple of videos we've been dropping. Uh, we got more new fresh videos coming and we're so excited. But uh, I also do wanna mention guys, we have camp literally like three months away. So listen, we really want you guys, if you're in middle school, we want you to go to that first week of camp. Middle schoolers, hey, listen to me, sign up, get to camp. We're going to have so much fun this summer. And then high schoolers, man, make sure you guys are signing up as well. No matter if you're a junior or senior, freshman, sophomore, whatever it might be, man, we want you at camp. And trust me, guys, we've been brainstorming and we got some cool things coming for camp. Matter of fact, check out this video. Well, man, make sure you guys register, go home, tell your parents, and if you guys need help or whatever it might be, please feel free to reach out. We want you at camp this summer. Well, tonight <clears throat> we're starting a new series called ATM. I mean, maybe you've heard of that abbreviation before, but we're starting a new series called At The Movies, ATM, At The Movies. And what we're gonna do throughout these next four or five weeks is we're gonna look at movies and see what biblical principles they have behind them. And uh, this week, uh, I chose a movie, and it's so popular. Matter of fact, uh, I don't even know if we could get this sound in this video, but did you guys hear that sound? What movie is this from? And ding, 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 hey, if you guessed Jurassic World, then you are correct. That's right. Tonight, we're going to be talking about Jurassic World, <clears throat> and we want to see what we can learn. Now, if you watched Jurassic World, which if you have, I mean, it was mind-blowing to me. It was so good. Uh, we, we remember kind of the beginning of the movie, right? Like the, those two kids, they arrive to Jurassic World, right? And they're going and they just see all of these different dinosaurs. And they see these amazing dinosaurs, right? And the park is flowing and people are having fun. And the reason why is because, right, the, these dinosaurs, they're... Uh, they have boundaries and these people have boundaries, right? Like these people couldn't just jump in to the field with a T-Rex or otherwise they would get destroyed. No, right? Either they were going around in like the balls that they could drive around or they were behind fences or these dinosaurs were far away, right? Like these dinosaurs had boundaries. So th that why, that's why, I mean, Jurassic World, it, it flowed so nice in the beginning, right? And, and what is a boundary? A boundary is a barrier that keeps you from getting hurt. A, a, a boundary is a barrier that you put in your life that keeps you from getting from getting hurt. Right? So we see in the beginning of this movie, man, everything is peaceful. Everything's flowing right. But what happens when the Indominus Rex gets out of the boundaries that they had set for him? Do you remember what happens, right? He goes into camouflage tricks all the people, the people get in there, and then he ends up escaping, right? And he breaks those boundaries, and, and what happens? Everything goes crazy, right? There's so much chaos. He starts destroying everything. And you see, guys, the reason that happened is because the boundaries that were set for, the, the boundaries that were, that were set for those dinosaurs, they, they were broken. And we saw what that led to. It led to destruction and death and chaos and all of these different things going on in this movie. And you know, we, we watch movies like this all the time, and yet we forget the biblical principles they have for our life. Matter of fact, if you have your Bible, I want you guys to open up to Ephesians chapter 5, verses 14 through 17 right now. Because tonight, 
just like these dinosaurs had boundaries, God, uh, he's called us to have boundaries within our lives. Man, we've been called to have boundaries within our lives. And remember, boundaries are things and barriers that we put in place so that we don't get hurt. So if you guys are opening up right now, I just want to pray for us before we start. God, thank you so much for bringing us here. Thank you for every single one of these students watching. Uh, God, we're so thankful that you just, uh, God, you've given us boundaries in life. And those boundaries are there to protect us and to keep us from hurting ourselves. God, I just pray that you would continue just working within our hearts. And Lord, we, we thank you so much. We love you. And we pray this all in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. So if you guys are in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 14 through 17, this is what it says. It says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Look carefully, then, how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, but, uh, because the days are evil, therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And man, Paul says, hey, wake up from your sleep and, and be careful where you're walking. Now, a lot of us, unfortunately, we don't walk today, right? I mean, you typically get a ride or, or maybe you drive or, or your parents drop you off, right? We don't really walk that much today. But maybe you'll resonate with this a little bit better. Uh, how many of you have been on a road trip with your family? If I had to guess, uh, a lot of you have. Now, have you ever been on the road trip with your family and maybe your mom or your dad are driving and all of a sudden they hit that rumble strip on the side of the road? Has that ever happened to you? Man, like my dad is one of the worst drivers. So, man, we rumble strip like all the time. Every, every vacation we took, every car vacation we took. Man, it, it was always uh, a crazy adventure with my dad. But maybe you've been there, right? And what happens when your parents hit that rumble strip? What happens? Well, the car starts to vibrate, right? And there's a loud noise. And what, what's that rumble strip trying to tell you? It's trying to tell you, hey, you're going in the wrong direction. There's danger up ahead. And if you don't stop and if you don't redirect, man, you're going to end up going off of course. You're going to end up going off a cliff. You're going to end up going on the other side of the highway, right? And that rumble strip is there to keep us protected. And you see, just like that rumble strip is there to keep you safe on the road, guys, the boundaries that we set in our life, they're there to protect us from getting hurt, from doing foolish things. That's why boundaries are there. You see, that rumble strip on the side of the road, it, it doesn't change you, but it tells you that there's something that you need to change. It, it doesn't fix you, but it tells you, hey, you need to address this thing in your life. And some of us in here, man, we're like these dinosaurs and we need boundaries and you need rumble strips in your life that are going to help you know when you're headed in the wrong direction. Why? Well, because these are my three main points today. First off, we lose focus. You and I, we lose focus. We need boundaries in our life, honestly, because we forget. Like, man, I, I mean, I'm a pastor, and I'm telling you guys, every single day that I wake up, I have to be reminded of who Jesus is. I have to get into the Bible. I have to pray. I have to read. I have to be reminded every single day of who Jesus is and what he means to me because, guys, we lose focus so quick. I think a lot of us like to think about the Christian faith as a, as a sprint. And guys, that's not what it is at all. I mean, the Christian faith, your, your Christian life, it's a marathon. And it's doing things slowly and steady and slowly and steady. And a lot of us, man, we just want to zoom through these things. And guys, what, what happens is a lot of times we're zooming and then culture gets in and they start throwing all these different ideas. They start th throwing all these different ideologies. They start throwing all of these different things at us and we start to lose focus. And see, some of you right now, you're, you're watching this. I mean, you've already been sucked in by those ideas, by, by those parties, by, by whatever it might be. You, they already got you. They, they already got your attention. And, and you're starting to embrace these ideas because you've lost focus on who Jesus is. I mean, you just need to refocus on Christ. You need to refocus on his word. You and I, we lose focus. I mean, it's part of our human nature. We lose focus. 
The second reason why is because boundaries take work. Listen, ha having boundaries in your life, it, it takes a lot of work. Like, for example, on my phone, through the church, we have Covenant Eyes. And Covenant Eyes basically sees everything that you're doing. From every Google search that you made, it, it takes screenshots of things that might look suspicious. It, guys, it literally goes through your whole phone. And, and it, it keeps you accountable, right? And that's a boundary that we as a staff here at, at the bridge, we have. So... To, to some people, maybe even you, you're listening and you're like, man, that, that's a little extreme. Like it takes screenshots. It, it sees what you're scrolling through. And guys, you see, that's a boundary that takes work. It, it's a boundary that I have that I'm not crazy about. And it does seem extreme. It does seem extreme that it takes, uh, that it takes screenshots of everything that I view and it sees everything that I've ever searched. But that's the kind of boundaries we need in our life. We need those boundaries. For some of you who are dating, Man, one of my biggest boundaries was met with Maddie was we, we don't ever hang out super late. Like that's a boundary that we always had by like 10 o'clock latest. We, we were done hanging out when we started dating, like, because that was a boundary that we had set because we knew if we had broke those boundaries, then other things would have happened. So listen, the boundaries that you set, yes, they might seem extreme, but they're so crucial in your life. And the reason they're so crucial is because listen, guys. The, the world is brutal. In 5, 10, 15 years from now, I mean, some of you, you're, you're going to get thrown so many different temptations at you. I mean, thousands of different temptations are going to come at you and they're, they're going to want you to follow this and they're going to want you to do this. And guys, listen to me. Do not do it. Don't fall into that trap. Because if you buy into those things, if you start breaking those boundaries now, I mean, some of you, you're going to have broken households like the ones you live in now. You're not going to have a stable home. Others of you, you're going to have bad marriages. Man, there's going to be divorce in your life. You're going to divorce. You're going to constantly be arguing with the person that you're living with. You're not going to want to be with the person that you're with. Others of you, Man, we, if we don't put these boundaries in place now, addictions like porn, video games, drugs, alcohol, pride, they're all going to creep in. Guys, we need these boundaries in our life. And I know a lot of us, you know, we just say, oh, we're just going to do this a little bit now. You know, it's just this one drink now. It's just this one pill now. It's just this one video now. But these boundaries that we have, you and I, we keep pushing them and pushing them and pushing them. And eventually you're going to end up in a place. You're going to be like, man, how the heck did I get here? And it's because you push the boundaries little by little, little by little, little by little. And eventually you ended up wrecking your life. We need boundaries in our life. We need boundaries to keep us in check because when we have no boundaries, well, we can't correct what we don't detect. You see, a lot of us, a lot of us have pushed past our boundaries so far that, that we don't even understand how far we've gotten. Some of you, man, you said you were never going to drink. You, you were never going to smoke. You were never going to try this drug. You, you were never going to, you were going to save sex till marriage, right? You were going to do all of these things. And then you push those boundaries little by little, little by little. And now all the things that you said you were never going to do, all of a sudden have become normal in your life. They're just part of your everyday life. Man, that, that, that porn video that, that you throw on every night, right? The one thing that you said you weren't going to do, well, now it's become an every night kind of thing. Man, and that, 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 that drug that you took, right? It was supposed to be just that one time thing at that party. And now it's being abused over and over again, right? Or maybe you go drinking out on the weekends. Or maybe you're sleeping with that guy or girl. Whatever it is, it's because we pushed our boundaries so far. Man, we pushed them so far. And now you can't even correct because you're not detecting what needs to be changed in your life. So, so what do we do? What do we do? My prayer is that you would lean into the boundaries, man, that, they have, that you have set up. I know boundaries are hard. 
I know that boundaries may seem extreme, but they're there to keep you from wrecking your life. So what? I got two questions for you guys. Do you sense God guiding you to change something in your life? Maybe there's that nudge on your heart right now. And you know there's that one thing that, man, you know God's been telling you to change and you've just been holding off. What is it? My second question for you is, what boundaries have you pushed and you know you have to reset? What boundaries have you pushed? Man, what boundaries have you gotten rid of that you knew were supposed to be there? What boundaries do you need to reset? God, I thank you so much just for all of these students watching. God, I thank you for your word and just the challenge you give us every single week that when we read it, God. God, thank you that you love us. Thank you that you gave your son for us. And God, thank you so much that we have eternal life through him. God, we love you so much. We thank you and we pray this all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey guys, man, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys come back next week. We have new videos dropping, all kinds of crazy different content going on. And make sure you guys check out the camp promo. Sign up for camp, man. Middle school, high school. We want to see you there. Well, man, we love you guys. Can't wait to see you again. See you later. Bye-bye.